All right, so for your rollback, your hand position is important. So I'm just going to be using one hand. So if this is my cow or my rail, this hand's going to be active. This hand, this knuckle kind of stays down on that shoulder. And this is just giving my horse more responsibility uh, for coming through that rollback. And then my leg kind of cleans it up. So I'm suggesting with my rein, three quarters of the way through the turn, I add my leg. So that's a slow-mo version of how you're gonna do it. Now three quarters of the way through the turn, you have two options. If my horse has a habit of dropping their shoulder um, and pushing into that cow, I'm going to use one leg to get them up off of that fence, off of that cow. If my horse is kind of lazy coming through that turn and they have trouble accelerating out of the turn, then I'm going to use two legs three quarters of the way through the turn. Um, now when I'm just using the rollback as a transition, um, just use two legs, sit back, smooch, ask for that canter. All right, so with Remy, his left lead is harder for him, and one of the struggles his owner is having with him is just getting him to maintain gait and pick up that lead smoothly. So we're using the rollback to pick up the canter. I'm using those two legs, and then here I'm just working on maintain gait. So I am doing my best to not use my legs at all, and because it's very tempting when you have a lazy horse to kind of push them forward and help them, you're not helping them if you're babysitting them. Really hold them to that responsibility of maintain gait. That is their uh, responsibility. So anytime he kind of slowed down, I'd you kind of over and under him with a string. It's better if you have a crop, but however you like to correct that. And just working on that maintain gait getting a nice consistent rhythm um, in that gait. But that's a really simple way that you can get your horse to pick up the correct lead and pick up the canter nice and easy.